Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Let's dive in. So this is um, an update and almost a finality to this thesis, this wallet that I created on the DripX platform. So you guys remember I created this one way back when, when this all got started. Got in at launch on this, showed you guys this. This is the, the DripX um, playlist that I created. And I uh, yeah, got into this one, like I said, at launch and was doing this test to see how it fared. So I had a, like quite a few DripX videos on the channel, it's an entire playlist. And this is now day 62. So this one, because I was not in Titan X, I didn't understand or know how the strategies were in place. And many people who were in Titan X came over here and pretty much just took profits, cheated right from the get go. And that caused that massive sell off. And then uh, Hustle and Matt and Eric have been constantly making updates and improvements to add sustainability to the uh, ecosystem. So since then, we now have the different buy and burn pools you got the reservoir now with uh 821,000, and then you have the vault where the tokens are over on the pulse uh some liquidity sorry is over on pulse chain and they've also adjusted the buy and burn um sorry not the buy yeah the buy and burn mechanics to end the inflation at 8 billion so we've gone through multiple iterations multiple updates all in this 62 day period and i have one miner left that will be able to be redeemed come uh one hour and uh, one day and six hours from now so i just wait to do that tomorrow for both of them and then we look at the payouts uh or stakes um, i pretty much rolled everything into long-term stakes after i figured out the name of the game so that's where all these came in right and the whole purpose of this was to evaluate and like i told you guys if you've been following you know that i'm waiting to see about the 100 day mark but we can forecast already where this is actually going to be so this is the bnb that i pulled out and 431 dollars out of 1500 you've seen this multiple times on my channel and it's 28 percent roi now when i look at the upcoming payouts there's basically another 233 dollars right now that i could add into this here that will be at the 90 day mark, which fits into that uh, 120 day thesis. So that would give me a 42% ROI. And then maybe some change up in here that would be added. So we could just say 50% basically. And that led me to this comment on this video here, where I was showing all of the platforms or dApps that I participated in. Somebody commented in here to tell me basically that in the future, this is uh, projected to be much better. So shout out to Pavan Patel. I understand the negative sentiment in all these projects, but DripX is gonna be a huge comeback. The high inflation days are over and 8 billion market, 8 billion max cap will mean very little sell pressure. Pulse chain staking will explode in the bull run, which means more revenue to support DripX. Also, they're gonna announce a new farming opportunity to earn rewards on DripX after claiming from miners. So again, you know, shout out to the team for trying to create the sustainability. I am still on the fence, like I said, and in my comment, said no negative sentiment, just numbers and facts. Numbers and facts don't have sentiment. So I will wait to see how this performs as I stated. I'll be it right now is not performed as expected. And the only way this has to come back is with hype and new capital. Without it, even with a pulse explosion, only the rich will get richer in the ecosystem, just like all of crypto and TradFi. This is why I've created these two litmus tests. I'm sure there will be those who will benefit from this potential pump, but there will be a large number of those, a large amount of those who will get wrecked as well. So like I said, for me, I want to see how this actually goes. So I have not injected any additional capital at 1500 here. And then the 1000 here, because I mean, they say, if you believe in a project, yeah, you keep dollar cost average, you keep buying the dip, blah, 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 blah. But I did that in the last cycle and got wrecked. So I don't know how this will shape up. And as I mentioned multiple times, I am, uh, I have PTSD from the previous cycle. So I'm not gonna keep just dumping money into a project that has yet to show me any any available ROI. Like I said, showing here 66, um, it's out now, 28% ROI. So yes, theoretically I could buy in and listen to the narrative of what's going to happen, but I there's also the risk in my opinion of it doing the opposite. So both things have to be weighed now the bull run pulse x all these different things are definitely a positive narrative a bullish narrative so to speak but 
what I mean by the rich getting richer is that I believe this will have a similar outcome as other crypto projects, meaning those who understood and had the bags up front bought in heavy and they have a lot of miners with um, heavy stakes or heavy tokens that will be coming out. So, yes, the inflation now is capped, but there's still days that are well over that. And so all people have to do is continue to accumulate their drip token, uh, drip X tokens and um, hold them and then dump them when they're ready. So I don't quite understand like this day is, you know, four times, almost five times uh, more inflation. So yes, in the future, maybe zooming all the way out to um, after the year is up. Yeah, maybe then. So you're talking about towards the peak of the bull run. Uh, maybe that's where it, it it starts to bounce. I don't know. Like it's just it goes too far in advance for me to even try to project and speculate because again we did that I did that with trip on the last cycle, you know making all these thumbnails and stuff like if this happens then this. But those are too many variables that you can't control. Too many unknown unknowns. So right now the um, proof is in the pudding for me for at least this one wallet. Now this second one um there's still i still got a bunch of miners in here so these were the ones that i went ahead and made um like almost every other day every two to three days something like that all the way out to the max to see what will happen and this one as i showed you guys there was a thousand dollars put in here and the market value is 1400 so that's an additional 50 percent and over here we're sitting at 80 bucks so this one will give a 50%, but if you add those up, 1500 plus the loss of 700 or so on the other one, um, it's still just under breaking even. And this has to project all the way out till through the beginning of next year, like 280 days or something. So I really don't know. I think there's potential in it. And I think uh, the devs are definitely competent enough to understand the moves going on in the macro side to keep making pivots but my biggest issue is um the other the way that this actually ends up going most crypto assets and even in tradvi is the the rich get richer the greedy basically so in order for someone to profit someone else has to take a loss and that's where the risk comes in for you because you got to decide okay am i going to keep adding into this ecosystem and is the deck stacked in my favor to where I add and I'll actually benefit from it? Or if I keep adding, is that going to just feed the people that got in before me and have a bunch of heavy bags coming out? Like that's the part I don't know. There's too many variables and moving pieces in here with the um, difficulty adjustments and the uh, D rank added. Like I don't have any of those numbers added up to actually see how that will affect. But I have been watching this and most a lot of people are definitely not staking because the the, the buy, payouts bnb payouts are not attractive so what i have seen is that their miners are coming uh, mature and they're just claiming into their wallets which is a double-edged sword because yes short term that would definitely cause more price depreciation but then at least when they do that they've sold out but i don't see them actually um coming over here because the payouts have dropped dramatically. So this is not attractive for anyone to buy new miners and stake them because you're not getting any solid BNB payouts. And then once we hit this 90 day one, we'll see what happens after that. So all in all, again, still I'm calling it neutral. Um, you guys may think the tone is negative or whatever, but again, these are just numbers. <laughs> I can only show you what my wallet has done and then what I'm seeing take place on the blockchain. The other stuff, you know, like was mentioned in the comments to me is exactly what I used to say with trip. It's all speculation, hopium. And I could like, yeah, keep spitting that. But I did that for two years and we all got wrecked. So rather than spinning narratives of things I don't know, I'd rather just show you guys what's actually going on factually right now. So, yes, the Pulse X narrative and uh, Bitcoin having that just took place, like all these things can be a huge catalyst and this can change dramatically like literally overnight but um i used to again regurgitate all that stuff before and none of that happened with the drip ecosystem so i choose not to share that this way 
because it ha it's not factual right now. It's just what I call false hopium, right? So we will have to see. So right now, again, still just waiting to see what happens. So this will be the 60 day. Then I guess I'll circle back to this at like the 90 day. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing like weekly or daily videos on this unless something changes in the ecosystem or they make some updates because there's really nothing for me to showcase here. So I'll probably um, look at the trip to BTC platform and I'm still waiting to hear back from Orbison on making that um, bot because there is definitely still a need for that. Um, but he's busy with other projects, stuff like that. I think he was doing some dev work on Solana. So it's hard to get stuff developed when you don't know the, the you can't do it yourself and other people are working freelance and pro bono. So, um, I'll let you guys know once we get some more development on that and swap X is still kind of sitting in the, in the crosshairs, no updates on that as of yet either, but at least X one, I'm sorry next layer has launched so hopefully uh within the next week or so we should get some updates on that so that's all i got to smash that hbo special help brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible see ya want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account spritz finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments they do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.